previous class we have discussed the different types of lipid molecules that are present that is the basically the classification of lipid molecules they are basically composed of three different types one is simple lipid and other one is compound and other one is gel lipid now in this particular video we need to be uh, going we are going to detail about what is simple lipid and what the types of simple lipid that we form so basically we are focusing about what is simple lipid and how simple lipid is gets characterized
if we compare one gram of uh, starch with respect to one gram of tag, which produces more amount of energy? The answer will be tag. Why? Because all the carbon atoms of the fatty acids basically, the fatty acids, maybe give an example of one fatty acid. For example, CH3, CH2O16, COOH. These are the structure of stearic acid. Simultaneously, CH3, CH2 whole 14, CO. These are the this is the palmitic acid. So different types of fatty acids are there. The fatty acid can range between from C4 to C20 in normal liquid. In case of wax, it can vary from C14 to C36 carbon. So in normal circumstances, it starts from C4, that is butyric acid, and ends with arachidonic acid, that is C20. And we are dealing with C16 and C18. This is the C16 fatty acids and this is the C18 fatty acids. Total number of carbon atom becomes 18 and the total carbon atom becomes 16. And these are basically saturated fatty acids. We are not, not dealing now with the unsaturated fatty acid. So all the carbon atoms of the fatty acids are basically present in reduced form. That is CH2, 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 CH2. All the carbon atoms and fatty acids are basically present in reduced form. And we know that a reduced compound will produce more amount of energy. And that is why if we compare between one gram of starch with respect to one gram of uh, triacylglucerol, triacylglucerol provides more amount of energy. So why triacylglucerol produces more amount of energy? The first answer will be all the carbon atoms in fatty acids are in reduced form. Right. And another most important thing to note that say example of any carbohydrate say glucose so glucose is c6 h2 and o6 so we can uh, rewrite this thing as c6 h2 o6 that means glucose contains six molecules of water in this structure but as we know triacylglucerol lacks any kind of water molecules so it doesn't carry the extra weight of water and therefore one gram of lipid produces more amount of energy so why the second point is it does not carry the extra amount of water in its structure. It doesn't carry the extra amount of water in its structure. So that is why one more of triacyl vessel produces more amount of energy. Now we have to uh, know that the triacyl vessels are basically of two types. One is uh, fat, that is solid, and the one is uh, oil, that is liquid. So what is the difference between fat and oil? So tag is basically of two types. One is called fat, another is known as oil. So what is the difference between fat and oil? Say, if the fatty acids are basically saturated, like palmitic acid, stearic acid, etc. In that case, it ultimately forms fat. But if unsaturated fatty acids are present, for example, folic acid. Folic acid means folic acid. Folic acid is C18 fatty acid, where C9 and C10 contains a double bond. So it is the oleic acid. Simultaneously, if the, the uh, double bond is present both in 9, 10 and 12, 13, say, it is called linoleic acid. Linoleic acid. Say if the uh, carbon atom, if the double bond is present 9, 10, 12, 13 and 15, 16, it is called linolenic acid. So if the fatty acids are basically unsaturated in their structure, in the formation of triacyl glucosal, it ultimately forms oil. So what is the basic uh, difference between uh, fat and oil? Fats are, fats are solid tag at room temperature. Where oils are liquid triesters of glycerol at room temperature. Number two, H 
they are saturated with fatty acid saturated fatty acid predominates where this contains unsaturated fatty acids because it contains unsaturated because the oil contains small amount of unsaturated fatty acid that is why their iodine number iodine number will be high so their iodine number will be high in case of oil the iodine number of fat will be low so these are the basic uh, differences between uh, tag and uh, fat and oil uh, fats are basically present in animal all are basically produced by the plants so it is basically the animal product animal produces more amount of uh, fat that is solid form solid trust or something so like food temperature whereas the plant produces mainly oil and soybean oil etc mustard oil etc okay now we will go for the next topic that is it contains only a single alcohol residue and the carbon atom in fatty acid and alcohol vary significantly for example the fatty acid carbon atom vary from c14 to c36 atoms whereas the alcohol ranges from c16 to c36 carbon atoms right an abandoned wax is b wax which is also known as myricyl palmitate so b wax whose melting point is 62.67 degrees c that is the melting point it is also called myricyl palmitate that is myricyl palmitate so it contains structure of actually myricyl palmitate which is called commercially known as the b wax similarly many different types of wax are present Mo world most hardest wax is known as the cardinal wax cardinal wax here you know you be a cardinal wax is the world most hardest known wax similarly there is a wax which is produced from the distinct uh, which has a characteristic smell like ambitolite 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 has a characteristic uh, good smell so waxes are basically secreted by the by the several birds particularly water for secrets the waxes from their pink gland making their feather water repellent waxes are can be also uh, applicable in uh, several lubricating agent in cosmetic industries and in several other industries for example in this plant the waxy coating protects their um, excessive evaporation or excessive gain of water from the outside of the tube so waxes has many uh, many uh, roles to play so what is the basic difference between uh, fat with respect to wax so wax is basically composed of only a single uh, mono, uh, single molecule of alcohol that is only we, only one of which to be present whereas in case of fat or oil it contains basically glycerol molecule which can be uh, associated with one two or maybe three molecules of fatty acid in the structure so this is the basically basically the
the structures of uh, several uh, waxes or whatever you can say that is the structures of waxes and uh, uh, simple liquids. Right? Okay. 